Hi lovely internet friends. So today's video I'm going to be answering some TMI questions. We're friends. I can be as honest as I want to be with you guys and I trust that you guys will accept my honest answers. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marybelle and if you want to join my YouTube family of cute little droobles, then just hit the subscribe button below. Let's just get started with the questions, shall we? Let's do it. What are you currently wearing? I am wearing this dress. It's kind of like a tie-up dress from Forever 21. And then I am actually wearing shorts underneath because no idea what that was. Oh, okay. It's just my charger, whatever. I'm wearing this bracelet. It's got aquamarine stones on it. I always wear these two rings here. I'm wearing a choker from Aldo, 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 I, I say Aldo. And then this little headpiece from Evernew. I am barefoot, but nobody wants to see my feet, do they? No, they don't. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have, once for sure, but I believed, believed, I was in love more than once. Did you ever have a terrible breakup? Yes, and actually it wasn't with a per se boyfriend, it was with someone that I was, I guess, dating, um, but was also a best friend. <laughs> and I felt completely betrayed by this person and it was an awful, awful kind of breakup because it wasn't just like a romantic breakup, it was also a friendship breakup. And to this day, this person I do not trust. I've had breakups with like boyfriends that were really hard for me to get over, but it was a lot healthier than the one with my so-called best friend. So it was a whole complicated situation. If you guys want a story time about it, I mean, let me know. A lot of stuff went down and he's a jerk. How old are you? I'm currently 26. How tall are you? I'm about five foot four. How much do you weigh? Currently, I have no idea really. I don't weigh myself regularly. I just don't like the habit of like stepping on a scale and like being obsessed with the number that you see on the scale. I used to be like that, especially in my teen years. And I just don't think it's healthy. But as far as I know, I fluctuate probably between 115 and 120. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less. Who knows? Does it matter? No. Do you have any tattoos? I think I answered this question in my get to know me tag video and no, but I would like one. And my first tattoo will probably be Beauty and the Beast related. You guys will find out later in this tag why Beauty and the Beast. What's your favorite drink? For me, I'm always happy drinking a London Fog or a French Vanilla Latte, but I also really love strawberry banana smoothies. What's your favorite song? My favorite song always depends on my mood. Currently, Sorry, Not Sorry by Demi Lovato. Now I'm out here looking like revenge, feeling like a 10, the best I ever been. It just really gets me pumped up and just like, yeah. <laughs> and then another song that gets stuck in my head randomly, and this has been going on for years, it just like comes into my head, is Fly Me to the Moon. I don't know just happens. What's your zodiac sign? You guys know this, I'm a Libra. How long does it take you to shower? It depends. When I'm not washing my hair, it's like five to 10 minutes. If I am washing my hair and all that jazz, then it can take about 20 minutes. What's your favorite show? I loved Breaking Bad when it was out. I Still to this day, I think it was one of the best shows. 13 Reasons Why, The Crown, Pretty Little Liars, Game of Thrones, and I will admit that I am a Bachelor franchise watcher. It's like a guilty pleasure. Something you really miss. Musicals. I used to be big on the musical theater scene growing up, and I mostly did like chorus parts and like minor character parts, lots of dancer parts. I always had a fear of singing, at, well, let me be specific, singing by myself. I still have fears of singing because, I don't know, I just think of 
professional singers and they just really intimidate me. The last musical I did was my senior year of high school and it was Beauty and the Beast and I played Belle, hence the tattoo in Spo. Being able to play that part was so liberating for my voice. I would love to just be in a musical again. What turns you on? Well, in general, not just like romantically. Let's see, I have a list here. Humility, creativity, humor, kindness and gentleness, and compassion. Vulnerability is a big one for me. Nice dressers. People who prefer to have deep, meaningful conversations over getting sloshed. European accents. The list goes on and on. What turns you off? The list goes on and on. <laughs> Opportunists, arrogance, racism. Basically, people who think that they're better than anyone else. I can't stand that. Selfishness, rudeness, and just jerks. Quality you look for in a partner. I would say someone who's loyal, comfortable in who they are, who has a kind heart, someone who has ambitions and goals is really important. And also, I think someone who is decisive because I'm very indecisive. If I'm being indecisive about something, it's nice to have another person be like, well, why don't we just do this? Favorite actor, lots. To name just a couple, Helena Bonham Carter, Jessica Chastain, Andrew Garfield, Eddie Redmayne, Meryl Streep, of course, but I guess someone who I really look up to as an actor who is also around my age is Alicia Vikander. The reason you joined YouTube. Honestly, I wanted to join YouTube since I was like 21, but never had the heart to really put myself out there as like myself. Like I'm okay acting as someone else, but when it comes to just me, I always felt like people didn't really care what I had to say. Um, so it took me a while to start a channel like this. I was about 24 when I decided, okay, let's just do it. And I also was going through like a really hard time at the time. I wanted to reach people who felt alone and I wanted to be a friend. I wanted to inspire people and to just have a creative outlet because I just, I'm a creative person so I need that. Do you have any fears? What are they? I mean, who doesn't have fears? We all have fears, we're all scared of something. If you're not, then you must be a robot. I am definitely afraid of failure, but then I'm also afraid of success. I feel like as an actor, I've struggled so much trying to get myself out there, trying to book roles, trying to like do all this stuff and just like hustling all the time that I'm used to kind of not succeeding in a way. The unknown is scary. What's the last thing that made you cry? I don't know. I haven't had like a proper cry in a long time. Trust me, I've had my fair share of tears, especially when I was 23 and 24. I probably cried the whole year, basically. <laughs> um, but this year has been just a great year of not having many tears, which is really nice. It's nice to not feel sad all the time or hurt all the time. Um, so I would actually say that the last time that I cried was probably during some type of acting exercise I did. And if you are in a place where you're constantly crying, trust me, I know I've been there and it sucks, but you'll get through it. And also just know that whether you're female or male, crying is completely acceptable and it does not show weakness. It honestly just shows your strength in being able to express how you feel about something. So if you need to cry, cry. The meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, it's basically my name. <laughs> my name is actually pronounced like Maribel, but that's not how I introduce myself. So I just go Maribel. <laughs> the last show you watched. The last show I watched, what was the last show I watched? When I fall asleep, actually, I like having my a show on in the background and I honestly, I put cartoons on. And so the cartoon that I was watching was Sabrina the Animated Series. Does anyone else remember that or is it just me or what? Do you have a crush? <laughs> no, no. 
No, honestly, like I haven't had a proper crush in years. It's been a long time. I'm starting to wonder if I even remember or know how to crush on anybody. I guess like I still have a crush on Andrew Garfield, but like that's a celebrity crush. It doesn't really count. I don't really see him and get butterflies or anything. I just see him like, oh, he's such a great actor and he's so vulnerable and so cute. But I do look forward to the day that I actually do get a crush on someone because Crushes are fun, I remember them being fun, and it's been a while since I've crushed on anyone, so. Hashtag demisexuality life. Place you want to visit. Off the top of my head, I would say Amsterdam, Italy, France, and Japan. I do also want to go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. Is it in Orlando? Yeah, yeah. So the last question is, when was the last time you were insulted? Honestly, it's whenever I look at my sorting astrological signs, so zodiac signs into Hogwarts houses, I will find a, an insult directed towards me or like some passive aggressive comment directed towards me. The last insult that I can remember from that video, one was that I have had plastic surgery done, which is completely not true. This is au naturel, honey. And the second one was that I, someone called me a stupid American and I don't know guys, I guess I must be so stupid that my whole life I thought I was Canadian, but I, I guess I'm just that dumb. Shade. Anyways, that's pretty much it for my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and listening to my answers. And I'm like trying not to laugh because of the last question. Anyways, um, <laughs> So if you guys want to answer these questions yourself, I tag you and I have also put the questions in the description box for you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that really helps my channel and it helps this video. If you want to follow me on my social media accounts, then all the links are down in the description and like I said, subscribe if you want more of this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video next week. Much love guys, as always. Bye.